What's going on guys, it's Dale here from Demsec, and I am being joined so graciously by Aaron again. Again? You least say that with so much enthusiasm, Dale, thank you. <laughs> so today, because I uh, I kind of let Aaron explain the last one, and you probably heard I've kind of flung it on him out of nowhere. So today we're going to be using a tool that I actually just came across on Reddit called PE Injector. What this tool allows you to do is if you have some kind of man in the middle attack going on on a network, it allows you to inject shellcode into any .exe that they may download. So basically, if you have access to their network and you have a man in the middle, you run it through PE Injector and it's just shells for days. <laughs> so... <laughs> So the scenario, we came up with a scenario. We came up Sorry, with a scenario. Sorry, shell for days. Shell for days. days. Um, <laughs> yeah, we came up with a scenario. So in my head, the way this is working is you should imagine... Even with, see, this is going to sound really stupid because we aren't like in the same room. But um, imagine Aaron is on site doing a pen test or he's a nefarious hacker in a coffee shop and he wants to get loads of shells. Um he's going to be basically acting as the guy at the location running the man in the middle attack and on my screen i'm literally just running a vps with metasploit and i'm catching the shells after the fact so we're going to cut over to our own screen and he's going to start showing us through pe injector right so once you've got it all installed all you do Which, is share uh, yeah i'll provide a link or just you know commands in the description of how to do that yeah uh service injector start right so that should be started so if we go to browser and then go to https uh local host Three 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 three. That's the uh, default port, and then add exception. And then this is the web interface which Dale so much loves. Yeah, I like um, web interfaces. So <laughs> what we're going to do on this first page is scroll down to the bottom. And nope, not this page. I look silly now. Uh, go to injector, injector. Oh yeah. And then basically down at the bottom here, make sure that both the controller interface and data interface are set to global. And at the bottom here, right at the bottom, yep, hit restart on injector. We'll take a couple of seconds to restart. Now it's restarted. Now we can go over to the shellcode page. Or not, apparently. Just hit back. Uh. Shellcode. And on here, we're basically going to pick whichever payload we want to use. They These are all interpreter payloads. So we're going to choose the same one we, do, we like to, which is the um, reverse HTTPS, which is right there. And for the host, we're going to use the IP address of our remote server, which for Aaron's sake is 46.101.1.0. Dot eight zero, and that'll be on port eight four four three. And create and send shell code. And now P injector is set up. It is that simple. The hardest part, and we had to basically not include that because it is quite a long process, um, is installing it because it's not like a ready to go package. Um, it is just code on GitHub that you've got to kind of read some not very re well written instructions, but I'll write some in the description when this video goes live. So over on Aaron's screen, we're going to be hopping over to his Windows VM, which is going to be acting as our victim. Um, so in our scenario, we actually have Firefox set to go through the proxy, but it is completely possible to do a man in the middle attack instead. Yeah, Aaron can show you. So just so, just because we're doing it like this, and obviously you'd have to have physical access, doesn't mean this is the way it has to be done. You can do a normal man-in-the-middle attack. And if you want us to do a little video about 
how to perform man in the middle attacks hit the like button so we know so just to I... just to mention as well um obviously i have my trusted um a vast um antivirus and ignore that because i've had an issue so it's uh, the specs on this vm are very low so just ignore that but yeah i've got a vast um open and it should be able to detect viruses should be the yeah, main that's, word. that's what you'd think but um <laughs> we're basically going to be carrying on with what we ended up doing last video where we can own machines and antivirus just doesn't even recognize it so as we said it is like active now if aaron goes to download any of these exes we're just using putty for this example um he downloads the file and then runs it Which well not runs it yet i need to set up <laughs> the uh set up the server on my end so just we've done it a million times before we're going to use uh use exploit multi handler um and we're going to set our payload to match that of what we're using so that's a windows interpreter reverse https oh tab completion taking a while there we go and then we're going to set our l host to match that of our external ip on this um vps which i have handily in this text file and that's pretty much it well, I'm going to set it so it doesn't exit on session. So that's uh, set exit on session. Oh, a few typos. It's usually me that does that. <laughs> and then exploit dash j to run it as a job in the background. So that is now running in the background. So Aaron should open that file and we should get a shell. Oh, let's open it. Right, so the only thing to notice here is uh, the digital signature. That's the yeah, only thing and that it's also be saying to... um, unknown publisher. Yes, so that's the only way that you'd be able to recognise. But like though, like we're saying with the um, macros, people tend to ignore any kind of warnings because they just want things done quickly, so they just automatically click run. Um, so we press run, and it opens as normal. So and if we go back uh, over on my screen... We have a shell. So and have you noticed what isn't popping up anywhere on our own screen? Yeah, nothing. Uh, so what we, what I can show you and what was in the screenshot on Facebook, um, if I uh, find the file, oh, good old technical preview. It's horrible. Uh, da -da 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 -da, downloads, many there, which would have been the last one. And... Uh, scan putty for no threats found. Yeah, and it really is uh, that simple. Um, and also, um, what I can show you, no, we can't. I won't be able to show you on this one. What we did um, try when we was testing it was I was checking all of the output and input connections, um, outgoing and ingoing connections either. And there was literally nothing. Um, I was going crazy because I was just so shocked of the fact that it, this one is literally not detectable as of yet. We, we there's, you can't find anything in Task Manager. You can't find anything, any connections going in or out. And Dale can do all of this to my computer, yeah. and it just it just scared me. And I think Dale a little bit of how bad this can be. Um, so, do you want to show what else we found out about these .exes, like once yes. they're created? Um, so, if I was to, oh, now I see why you wanted to do it the way you've done it. Right. So, <laughs> if <laughs> if I um, not that one. That's my if, face. It's my face. <laughs> if um, where it, will you stop opening things? I, I please stop. <laughs> stop. Okay. Okay. Um, There's nothing to do. Right. Now. So if I go to the downloads folder again, that's the documents, but, and if I drag this over here, 
or not. Copy and paste. Because... Oh, there you go. It worked. Did it? it? Yeah, well, on the last drag it um, came across, but just do copy and paste. <laughs> Right, uh, so now it's on my desktop, and if I now open this on my desktop, um, I have another shell. It... Yes. <laughs> and this is where Aaron but goes it's, into it's ultra just... paranoia mode. <laughs> yeah, because because I've done this on my normal account, um, and last week I had a um, a hacker. Uh, like a testing environment and now i'm scared so as soon as this video is done and i'm gonna cut it quite quickly i'm going to restart my machine so do you, any, do you want to hurry things up now because i what, know what you're what, are doing you, are grabbing you, are you everything paranoid? Like, a little bit so come on i mean stop it it's just a notepad <laughs> stop it come on hurry up <laughs> so yeah this this is awesome and even on his actual host machine, so you know we're not doing anything dodgy. He uses his PC day to day. He's got everything. Right? He's got antivirus. Like this is the machine. Like VMs, we don't care about. We could do something dodgy with. This is his actual host PC, and he's. I think he's trying to show us the current 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 connections. So yeah, here's the current connections, and as you can see. Um, there's nothing of the IP address of what Dale was using or... Yeah, this any, is what like, we literally, found most worrying. Is, you, you, it's just not detectable at all. Yeah, if you look down where it says on the remote column, and I'm just going to do IP IF config, so I can check the IP. <laughs> oh, I did IF config on your PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's no IPs on there beginning with 46. And that's what our IP... Oh, no, there's one there. Oh, there is a shell there. Ah! Oh, no, that's, ah. that's the VMware one. So if you run it in VMware, because that's VM not. That's VMware. So if you're running it, if you manage to get this... Um, if you get attacked through a virtual machine, which, you know, <laughs> isn't very likely, you can see it through the VM not. But on its host machine, there isn't any processes other than... No, um, just to show you that, um, let's hope there is, well, it doesn't really matter. There's, There's the nothing that, that would look out of the ordinary on there. No, what if I close it? No, I won't do that now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, like, it's just crazy stuff. And that, that, that now, you can literally take that with you anywhere and you can just... Pop shells. Yeah, own people... So it is very dangerous. Um, yeah, yeah, and it, dangerous. the application <laughs> still works as normal. Why? Like, yeah. It's, so once now, basically, now that's... Because um, you, you don't need any permissions to run that program. Yeah, it's um, a portable, executable, so... Yeah. Anyone um, can run that, even on, like, a domain. Like, on... Well, you don't have an administrator account, we can still get a shell on that machine. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell them how, how paranoid you are anymore? Or should we wrap it up? We should wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed, guys. Um, remember to leave a like and comments and all that cool stuff because we actually really do read them. And Aaron's yes, actually do. really... He, he reads all your comments. So Yes. And bear tell with me, because obviously we, we do um, work full-time. So if we don't get back to you as quickly as possible... Just bear with us and we will be with you as soon as possible. Yeah, so I guess we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks guys.